ಅಭುತವ ಮೂರತಿ ವಿನೋದಕಾರಿ ಪಲ್ಲಪನ ವಿಸರೆ ನಹಿ ಜೋ ವಿಸಾರಿ ಜುಗಲ ಚರಣ ಸೋಲ ಚಿನ್ನ ಜೇಹ ನಜರ ಸಮೀಪೆ ರಹೋ ಅಮಾರಿ ಏಹ ನಜರ ಸಮೀಪೆ ರಹೋ ಅಮಾರಿ ಏಹ ಘನಶ್ಯಾಮ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ನೀ ಜಯ ಹರಿಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ನೀ ಜಯ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಾರಾಯಣ ಭಗವಾನ್ ನೀ ಜಯ ಸುಪ್ರೀಮ್ ಓ ಮೈಡಿ ಅವರ್ ಬಿಲೋವೆಡ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಘನಶ್ಯಾಮ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ದ ಪಾಥ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಯುವರ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಲಿಬರೇಷನ್ ಅವರ್ ಅಟ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಪೂಜ ಗುರುಜಿ ಪೂಜ ಸಂತೋ ಭಗತ್ ಜಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ವಿ ಡಿವೋರೀಸ್ ಜೈ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಾರಾಯಣ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಅವ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಇಯರ್ January 2020 and for those who are yuans or young adults who especially know the language of English and do not comprehend too much Gujarati especially uh now from onwards there will be two courses that will be deliver, uh delivered uh you can say kathan in English in every month this is a starting of you are course 1 and uh next course will be next week and we'll do the katha on that next week but this is you are course 1 for this date ajmare or dere so this course consists of three parts one is ajmare or de the pad then sadguru gunati tanan swamini vato and third is shriji maharaj's charitra we're going to go through each and every section and understand by the grace of maharaj and puja guru ji the abhiprai or the intention behind each and every aspect so in our sampraday starting with uh, this first uh, you can say element ajmare orde in our sampraday Bhagavan Swami Narayan brought down 500 non-santo and each and every non-sant had a very very uh you can say unique skill or talent that Bhagavan Swami Narayan displayed and portrayed through them some santos had the skill of writing books others had the skill of doing katha varta others had the skill of you can even say dance others had the skill of cooking and many santos had the skill of writing kirtans kirtans or you can say spiritual hymns and from there here um uh, many many santos wrote kirtans for example sadguru shri brahmanand swami sadguru shri nishkuran swami sadguru shri premanand swami etc and so so on and so forth and out of them premanand swami one of bhagwan swami narayan's utmost dear sadhu who had the inclination of affection for bhagwan had a niyam of writing four pads four pads meaning four uh, stanza is pad so he had a niyam of writing four pads or four stanzas before he went to sleep every single day this was a niyam he took uh in uh, chaturmas uh which is the four uh months out of the year which are considered to be holy and maharaj especially implemented that my santos take niyams in chaturmas so sadguru premanand swami took the niyam of writing four pads every day before going to sleep and he had the niyam and he was doing it and everything was going well and one day uh, he wrote this pad of ajmare orre re avi avi na shiel vel that was one pad and the second pad that he wrote and then after that what happened was swami was writing the second pad and he still had the third and fourth pads left but all of a sudden he went to sleep and uh, bhagwan swami narayan through his omniscient powers found out that this had happened and he did not want his son to break his niyam his vow 
So Bhagwan Swaminarayan himself wrote the two other buds so that Swami's niyam would be completed of writing four buds. The two buds that we're going to review are written by Bhagwan Swaminarayan himself. Bolya Shri Hari Re. So in this court course, bud three will be revised. In the next course, bud four will be revised. So we're just going to sing it over once and then we'll slowly but surely dissect it on what Bhagwan Swaminarayan's intentions are. Bolya Shri Hari Re. Sambro Narinari Harijan Mare Kavaratare Sone Sambravianu Cheman Mari Muratire Mara Loka Bogane Mukt Sarve Divya Chere Tiato Joyani Che Jukt Maru Dama Chere Aksharayam Rutajenu Nam Sarve Sambratire Shakti gune kari abiram Atite jo mayare Ravisa sikoti kavar ne jai Sitar santa chere Tejani upamano devai Tema hura hure Divya buj divya sada sakar Dulla badeva nere Maro ko inepame par Jevi Sharatanore Maya Kar Purush Pradhan Sone Vashakarure Sono Prera Kahum Bhagavan Agnita Vishwani Re Utpati Palana Pralaitai Mari Marji Vinare Koiti Tarnu no Todai Emmana Jana Jore Mara Yasrita Sauna Renar Metutama Angare Varta Satyaka Hiche Mari Untotama Karane Re Avyo Damathaki Taride Prema Nanda No Re Valo Varsha Amrutame Here in this Pod 3, Maharaj himself describes many many different things in his intentions and one thing that is very very hard to understand or to capture is the intention of Mag Bhagwan and his Satpurush but Maharaj himself performed daya or compassion upon us and showed us his intention on his ruchi or his likings Bolya Shri Hari Re Sambro Nannari Hari Jan Meaning Bhagwan or Bhagwan himself is I am saying Listen all my devotees Mare Kavarata Re Sone Sambra I have one vat that I would like I would like to share with all of you Mari Murti Mari Murti Re Mara Lok Bhogne Mukt Sarve Divya Che Re Tiyanto Joya Niche Jukt My Murti meaning my form My Lok meaning my Dham and my mukto, they're all divya, and they're all worth looking at and experiencing. Maru dham chere akshare amruta jenu nam sarva sambratire shakti gune kare abhiram. My dham is, its name is akshar, and it's like amrut, meaning Bhagwan's, akshar, Bhagwan's divine abode is called akshar dham. Sarva sambratire, all the sakti, all the power. All, it is very, very powerful. It is very, very great. Ati tejomayare ravishashi kotika varnejai sitar sanchere tejni upmano devai. There is much, much lumin, luminous light. It's so luminous, it's so luminous that it cannot be fathomed. Yet, the luminosity, it, it doesn't burn. It's sant, it's sitar, it's cool. It's kind of like a cool light that is there. And one cannot give an upma, one cannot describe the light itself. Tema hu rahure, divit divya sada sakar, dullab devanere, maro koine pame par. I live in the middle of that light, that's my home, and I have two arms, two feet, and I am divya, I am divine. Devs, deities, cannot, are not even able to fathom what it is like. 
and no one is able to reach there without my, you can say, agna or consent. Jeev Ishwar Tanore Maya Kaad Purush Pradhan Sone Vashkarore Sono Prerak Hum Bhagwan. I am the Bhagwan who is inspiring each and every Jeev, Ishwar, Maya, Kal, Purush, Pradhan, everyone. Without my intention, without my wish, without my inspiration, nothing is possible. Agnita Vishwanire Utpati Palan Pralaithai Mari Marji Vinare Kwethi Tarnu Notare. All the destruction, everything is happening due to my wish. Mari Marji is without my Agna. No, no one can even break a single twig. Understand me like this, all of my followers, my disciples. I am saying the truth. Whatever I said, I am saying it is the truth. So believe me, understand me, and all of my followers. I've come here in physical human form for all of you. Bhagwan is saying this. I've come here in physical form for all of you. So understand that. So this is the unique thing about this pad is Bhagwan Swaminarayan wrote this pad yet he put Premanan Swami's name. Even Bhagwan Swaminarayan himself gives credit to his disciples, to his followers. Not false credit, but one type of humility we can understand. That even Bhagwan himself keeps such kind of mahima. Bhagwan himself keeps such kind of, you can say, uh, uh, um, glory for each and every disciple of his. That's something unique. And how so? By giving credit to Premanand Swami that Premanand Swami has wrote this. In our life, if we can't understand too much, definitely from this we can understand that no one will ever look low or less if you give credit to someone else for your work. Because in the end, Bhagwan himself inspires through each and every person and Bhagwan himself knows the truth and Bhagwan himself is looking so he would become Raji and happy. But over here Maharaj put Premanand Swami's name and from there we can understand that we have received a compassionate, a, a, a very very you can say low key easy going bhagwan a very very practical bhagwan because the whole vachnamrut itself is practicality and bhagwan swaminarayan has spoken it and we have received such a bhagwan and bhagwan has come all the way from his divine abode akshardham for all of us here in his manifest form as and and has given us his darshan and gives us his darshan in the form of pura gansham maharaj hari krishna maharaj vartal etc so on and so forth so Bhagwan has not gone anywhere the same Bhagwan that manifested 236 years ago is the same Bhagwan that is here on this earth as of right now currently may it be through his murti or may it be through his satpurush but it is that Bhagwan so that's the pad that Bhagwan Swaminarayan wrote that's the third stanza the fourth stanza will uh, we'll, uh, dissect next week in our sabha Sadguru Shri Gunatitan Swamini Vato <clears throat> Remembering such a sadhu God realized in the mind destroys the sins of the mind listening to his talks destroys the sins of the ears and engaging in his darshan destroys the sins of his eyes understand the great sadhu's glory in this way a very very short vat, not too much, but <clears throat> this vat has the ability to completely purify the soul if one looks at it from that level. <clears throat> Remembering such a sadhu, but what kind of a sadhu? Swami said such a sadhu. Swami did not say remembering a sadhu. 
Remember, uh, Swami said, remembering such a sadhu. A sadhu meaning a specific one, a one that is unique from others. For Swami's intention behind here was a God realized sadhu who has constant relationship with Bhagwan Swami Narayan. Such kind of a sadhu. A sadhu who has 39 attributes of a, a, of a sadhu. Such kind of a sadhu. A sadhu who is oriented with saintliness to the utmost peak. Such kind of a sadhu. A sadhu who controls his indriyas and antakaran and, and is not ever suppressed by them and behaves as in the Brahmrup state. Such kind of a sadhu. Bhagwan Swami Narayan is talking about. For us, if we can imply this vat, it would be our Puja Guruji. Our Puja Guruji is such kind of a sadhu that upon sitting next to him, without saying even a word, we feel cool, calm, coolness. Our mind completely becomes in sattva gun. We don't have any other sankalp or thoughts in our mind. Not only that, but his inspirational talks motivate us and strive us to fight against this maya to fight against this world and to more and more worship bhagwan swami narayan that's his pratap that's his greatness and that's a sign or signal of a vadvanan agni sadhu or a sadhu who can make salty jeeves salty souls into pure souls salty meaning Souls filled with maya, souls filled with corruption, souls filled with ignorance and arrogance. Such kind of souls, when they go towards the Satpurush and, the, and they take the refuge of a Satpurush, the Satpurush slowly but surely completely destroys their ego, arrogance and makes them God-centered and Brahmrup. That kind of sadhu that we have received is in the form of our Puja Guruji. Now what is Swami saying? Remembering such sadhu, God realized sadhu, in the mind destroys the sins of the mind. Meaning, one question arises is that why did Sadhguru Gunatitan Swami not talk about Bhagwan here? Why did he not say remembering Bhagwan? will destroy the sins of the mind. God is almighty. God is all pure. God is God. There is no one that can compare to him. But Sadhguru Gunatitan Swami was a, also a practical sant. And he understood that God is such a high element, such an expensive and a rare element to achieve. God is not fathomable in the physical mind of a mere human, that there is no way that they can even think about God like this and this would occur. But Swami knew one way, and that was Bhagwan's second form, you can say. When Bhagwan comes on this earth, he comes <clears throat> in a human form and lives like humans. But those who understand can understand his greatness. But when he is not manifest via his human form, he is manifest through his murtis. You can say Pyura Gansham Maharaj, Hari Krishna Maharaj, Sajan Swami, Nilkan Varni, so on and so forth. And also through his Satpurush. Now his Satpurush is here on earth traveling and traveling for the benefit of each and every soul. And his Satpurush Every action that the Satpurush does, every kriya, every talk, every movement, that is all Bhagwan Swaminarayan himself performing that act via staying inside of the Satpurush. That's why we can actually physically meet a, a God realized saint, we can talk to him. That's why it's easy for us mere humans to comprehend or at least relate with a Satpurush more than Bhagwan himself. That's why instead of Bhagwan, Sadguru Gunatitanan Swami said, 
a God-realized Sant. And what did Swami say? Remembering such a sadhu in the mind destroys the sins of the mind. Destroys them completely. Now, you're probably wondering how can we do sins through the mind? Well, by thinking of bad things, by thinking of hurting someone, maybe physically, maybe insulting them, by thinking of vulgar things in the world, by thinking of things that are not religious. Those are all sins that are performed in the mind. And they can be destroyed when you think of the Satpurush. When you think about the Satpurush's walk, when you think about his talks, when you think about when you think about his his <clears throat> his each and every movement, if you have had his darshan, Puja Guruji here to please Maharaj and Hari Bhaktos does nutya or dances here on stage. Well, that's not because he likes to dance or that's not because he wants to stay physically fit. But even if we mere souls can remember Guruji's dance, then all of our mind's sins would be destroyed. That's why Buja Guruji himself has such kind of a uniqueness to him compared to others. Not only that, but two years ago in Winter Workshop 2018, we saw Puja Guruji playing musical chairs with little, little you can say, kids who are five, six, seven on stage here. Not ever comprehending that or thinking that, you know, I am at this post or nothing like that. But that was all for the mere souls who would remember so that their sins of the minds would be destroyed. Our Satpurush is trying this much for us, then why not remember him? Why not take the challenge of understanding who he is, where he's from, how he is? Why not stay in his each and every command? Why not cherish his each and every moment here on earth? Then Bhagwan would not be even an atom's distance away if we perform such kind of an act. Listening to his talks destroys the sins of the ears. Puja Guruji has performed many, many kathavartas in our Loyadam USA channel on YouTube. There's many kathas of Puja Guruji. Nonetheless, audios. Nonetheless, Puja Guruji, when he comes here physically at Loyadam Mandir, New Jersey, and performs katha parayans, Hari Gita katha that he just performed in Danurmas Vododra, etc., so on and so forth. Such kind of kathas. Guruji performs and those kathas are so miraculous to those bhaktos who listen to them that their mind completely changes and their ear sins are completely burned away. One example I want to give of short is our Sanjeev Bhagat from Macon, Georgia. Sanjeev Bhagat from Macon, Georgia, maybe I want to say 12, 14 years ago, had a hideous life. He was a gangster of New York. Oh yeah. And he had gold chains, he used to do vulgar, vulgar things, watch movies, eat outside, so on and so forth. But one day, his father was a devotee of Puja Guruji, and Puja Guruji had performed a katha, and his father had inserted the cassette inside of uh, the car. And, you know, when you turn off a car, the cassette also turns off, but when you turn it back on, it's going to uh, left leave off from where it it was from the katha part, the portion. So Sanjeev Bhagat started the car. He was going to go watch a movie with his friends, you know, have a good time, you know, skip school, all that good stuff. And he turned it on and it was Puja Guruji's katha. And never ever had he listened to Puja Guruji's voice. Not did he even know his name, but somehow, some way, just by Guruji's voice, his katha, his words, while driving 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes down the road, going towards the movies with his friends, his whole mind changed. His ears' sins became destroyed. And he called his friends right there and then, then 
who were going to meet up with him at the movie theaters and told him that this is my last uh you can you're not going to see me anymore i want to change my ways i want to become spiritual i want to become the devotee of god and right there and then he called them and told them and he turned his ways and he went to india and pretty much surrendered to puja guruji now he lives a very great life here in um making georgia and uh he had he had a uh you can say he had a son and he has a daughter but his son that uh he had his uh this bhagat you can say his astonishing change in just a short period of time due to puja guruji's kathavarta he gave his son permission to become a saint and currently his son is a, a is a parsad in training uh living in loyadam florida his name is tilak bhagat but that's something that's astonishing that we have we can gunatidan swami said this talk about 150 years ago and we can practically give examples in our loyadam parivar here of such kind of incidences occurring what better mir miracles how how much can more can we prove that Bhagwan and his Satpurush are pragat and manifest here with us? This is it. Such kind of events, such kind of stories. And and engaging in the darshan destroys the sins of the eyes. There's many, many devotees by having Guruji's darshan have become or have experienced peace of heart, have become more God centered and through even Guruji's darshan, some have went to Akshradham. Bhagwan has came and took him to Akshradham just by merely Puja Guruji's darshan. This is the Pratap of a Satpurush. And it says, Swami says at the end, understand the great Sadhu's glory in this way. Before we can understand the glory of God, we have to understand the glory of such a Satpurush. Because Bhagwan Swami, as I mentioned before, is not fathomable to the mere human mind. But the Satpurush is here pre uh, present here on this earth, so we can actually connect with him. We can talk with him. We can generate our feelings. <coughs> we can <sh> <coughs> we can share our feelings with him, and through that, we can open up. We can become honest and through that the Sad Purush would give support and help us walk towards on the path of God and reach God on an express highway without any kind of obstacles. This is what a Sad Purush does for us. He's 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 a highway, but not just a highway. He's a highway which is toll free. He's a highway which is which has no kinds of, uh, you can say, um, speed limit. He's a highway which where there is no snow, there is no sleet, there is no ice, there is no rain, it's all sunny. He's a highway where there is no cracks on the road. He's a highway where you can drive your car as fast as possible to reach Bhagwan. But only if you stay on the highway meaning only if you attach yourself to the Satpurush just like how Bhagwan Swaminarayan gives an example in the Vachnamnud Gadada last chapter 7 an iron nail being completely etched inside of an iron ball there is no way that there is they can break if you break off the nail the ball is also going to break in half, not in half, but they're going to become two different. But if you look at it from just a physical point, they're one solid piece. In the same way, our soul and the Satpurush should become one. They should, it, they should be completely, completely bonded together so that no maya, in the form of arrogance, ego, jealousy, greed, lust, etc., so on and so forth, can ever come between them to destroy uh, destroy that bond. Such kind of bond, when it's made, then Akshardham is not far. 
according to the Vachnamrut, it's one atom's distance away. Not even an atom's distance away. So we have received such a Maharaj, we have received such a Sadpurush. Now all we have to do is attach ourselves to them as most as possible so that they can their job can become easier and they can take us to Akshardham as fast as possible. And the lastly, the third element is Gordon Bay's story and that will be found in uh, the UA course. Uh, anyone who do ha does not have the UA course English, you can email us at loedamnj and the course will be uploaded to you. Saying this, my humble Jay Swaminarayan.